Our final story this evening takes us to the Kingdom of Kerry. It's estimated that one in five people has lived abroad from Ireland at some stage in their lives. And for so many of us, we harbour the dream of coming back to Ireland one day. Well, that's certainly true of a Dublin woman who came home 20 years ago. Maria Malarkey has been to meet her in her adopted home of Dingle in County Kerry, where she has set up her own pottery business. Before starting her pottery business in Dingle in 1996, Hedy O'Neill led a very colourful life, travelling and working all over the world. She was born in Dublin in the 1960s to a German mother and Scottish father. Having met in Germany after World War II, Hedy's parents decided to move to Ireland to start a new life together. The youngest of five children, Hedy's love for County Kerry started at a young age. My father came down here on a holiday originally a long time ago and bought a house and um, then set up a business there. So we used to come down every summer, leave school early in Dublin and come down and go to school in camp, um, which is a little village near Tralee. And um, we had, yeah, great childhood summers down here. And that's where my love of Kerry came from, really. After school, when I was 17, I just went travelling for quite a few years and then eventually I ended up in Scotland um, for a couple of years, um, one near Glasgow and another year in the Shetland Islands, which was really beautiful. I loved it there. And then after that, I ended up meeting a man and travelling all around the world with him and then came back and, and I was not going to live in Dingle, but I couldn't find a job. So I ended up going back to Wales and got a job paragliding. So I was doing paragliding for a couple of years and then I had my son. So I gave up paragliding so I could be at home with him. And, um, and that's when I got interested in ceramics when I was living in Wales. So I took it up as a hobby. But one day I was in a shop, a pottery shop, and I, there was one potter that stood out amongst all of them and I loved his work. It was bright and vibrant and his name is John Pollux and that was it. That was my eureka moment of knowing that that's what I wanted to do. Artist John Pollock's brightly coloured work was the inspiration for Hedy to become a potter and last year she couldn't believe her luck when she contacted him through Facebook. We became friends on Facebook and um, just a few weeks later he suggested that he come and visit me so he did and he spent a whole week with me, which was just absolutely amazing to have him there. And he, we spent a whole week, it was like, you know, a whole week in the workshop and him showing me all the techniques that he does. And it was just fantastic, it really was. Hedy has two children, and while her son Fionn is focusing on a music career, Alva could be following in her mother's footsteps. My son is now in college in Cork doing music and, and he's got a great band called Strange Attractor. Uh, I also have a daughter, Alva, who's 11, and uh, she's very interested in the ceramics. She's often in the workshop with me, making tiles and stuff. And uh, I'm very fortunate because I work from home, so I'm in the workshop, and if she's off school or anything, it's very handy. She can be in there with me, or I can keep an eye on her. Oh, that's very pretty. Well done. I've probably been doing my tiles since I was very young, probably around five or six. And I love doing the tiles. I love artwork, so it's very nice to be able to do it on other stuff rather than just paper all the time. I love working with my mum because she's very helpful and she knows a lot about the stuff that we're working with. I love spending time with her as well and maybe one day when I'm older I'll carry on doing the pottery. When Hedy isn't making her pieces in her studio, she's trying to sell them in her shop on Green Street in Dingle. You, you yeah, know. I make them. Yeah. You're the potter. Yeah. And when she isn't making or selling, she's out and about getting inspiration for her work. And that isn't difficult, living where she does. I love getting out and about. There's just so many beautiful places to go, and every corner you turn, there's another stunning view. It totally inspires me living here. Just the colours and the landscape, the gorse and the fuchsia and the montbretia, I feel that it comes out in, in my pottery. I feel extremely lucky to be living in Dingle and doing what I'm doing. It's just so beautiful to live here, the, the music, the people, the scenery, and I couldn't imagine really living anywhere else.
or doing anything else. It's just a very nice life. Well, now there's a woman who seems very, very happy with the decision she made to move back to Ireland. And why wouldn't she be? What a lovely way to earn your living and what a lovely place to be living in in Dingle and County Kerry. Hope you've enjoyed our programme. Shandar Lashit Lor, Bermuda the Rashliv, Erin Loon, Agus Gudishan, on the Hainyar of Wurin, Winnegi Tanev, Asandar Shakna. On next Monday's Nationwide, in the footsteps of events which led to the establishment of the Irish Free State, we see how modern technology is bringing the history of 1916 to a whole new generation of those interested in learning about Easter week 100 years ago. Now for the result of last Wednesday night's Nationwide competition. Congratulations to Kay Lynch from County Clare, who's won the trip to New York. Well done, Kay.